If Adobe Illustrator looks confusing to you, I'm gonna simplify it for you in 10 minutes. Let's get stuck into it. When you first load up Illustrator, you'll get stuck on this home page. Now, all you gotta do to create a new document is click new file. Now, once you click this, you'll get a pop-up box that allows you to save templates. So I can click on save and you can save your templates in here. You've got different tabs, mobile, web, print, art and illustration. So there's different pre-made templates or you can really just make your own. So I can customize the width and the height. I can also change from pixels or if I'm working on say packaging or something like that, I can go to millimeters and centimeters. Now the great thing with Illustrator is that it works perfectly for people who do logo design, package design. You can even do layouts, designs for social media, digital assets. And the reason why is because it's so flexible, you have control over every single element, every pixel, every pathway, and you can move it and add effects to it and change it. And so it's a little bit different to things like Canva where they've got pre-built templates and certain limitations to the software. Um, it's because it's built for more quick design and templates. So let's get stuck into it. So you can also name it. So we can call this, you know, template. I can put a bleed on it. You only need to put bleed if you're doing a print and your printer tells you to do like one, two, three mils uh, or whatever it is for your package design. And then you've also got color mode. So you've got RGB, CMYK, you've got raster effects. So you can make the raster effects more 300 ppi which means more detail or pixels per inch so if you're going to print uh you know a post that you did in illustrator it's going to make sure that it prints high quality and it's not pixelated and then you've got preview mode which just allows you to view the screen a bit different and then you've got other settings you can go check out but overall this is how we do it and we click create so here is the illustrator workspace you've got all your tools on the left hand side you've got all the menus up the top file edit object type select effect view window and help and then you've got all your swatches other panels and, and workflows appearance gradient you know type and whatever and you can move around any of your panels you can left click and drag so if you want to pull them out you can connect them by clicking and dragging and it will if you drag it next to the tab it will snap to it like that and then if you drag the top bar you can snap it back into any side panel there and you can click the little arrows to drop those down into a little simple drop menu you can obviously change your workspace by going to window workspace and you've got different versions here so you can click essentials you can go to um, maybe if you're just working on a website or something like that you can do that or you can make your custom one which i typically do and then i can save a new workspace so you can click new workspace and you can actually save it at whatever name you want but I've got mine already saved just like that. Now in Illustrator, you've got all your tools. So if you want to create a, a font or typography, or you want to create a logo, you can easily press T for the type tool, left click once, and then I can scale things up by holding shift to keep proportions. And then if you left click and drag, I can scale everything up. You've got your um, fonts up here. So you've got your font bar, I can left click that, and I can change the fonts. I can also quickly duplicate things by holding Alt, if you're on a Mac, it'll be option. I can click and drag it and it'll actually duplicate that font. And then I can go change it and I can change it to many different fonts, which is super cool. If I want to edit a font, I can just left click on it. Once you press the T, um, T for the type tool, I can click and I can say, I can type just like that, which is super cool. I can adjust all the options here. There are a lot of shortcuts, but I won't go through them today, but you can adjust all the sizing here. So if you hold shift and left click, it will decrease and increase by 10 points. So you've got sizing, you got also line spacing, which is also known as leading as well on the next one. So you can edit that. You can do tracking, which increases the space between the letters. You've got a whole bunch of options. You've got all caps as well. Um, you've got rotation. You can do that. You can play around with all these settings. So here are your type tools and it's really easy to you know, type a font. I can left click and drag to do a text box, which is like for longer paragraphs. And you can see it generates text automatically. I can select the text box, press control A and select all of it just like that. And then I can downsize it like this. Super cool. You've got a whole bunch of tools on the left. So if I right click, you can see other tools here. You can also, you've got the pen tool. So the pen tool is the main thing for creating anything really. So for example, if I want to create a weird shape like this and I connect it all together, this is called a path, which is also known as a stroke. And I can change the stroke or path weight up the top. You can see the points there. I can make it really thick or I can make it really small. I can left click on the points here and I can delete a anchor point. And then I can also 
select these two and join them by pressing Control or Command J and that will join an anchor point to close that path and then we have a shape. A cool trick as well is you can press Shift X to flip the fill and the fill is just the color inside of a shape or inside of a path and if I press Shift X it will shift to the stroke of the path which is just the color on the line and not inside the shape. And you can see on the left hand side, you got these two squares and I can left click and drag the colors there, which is cool. And you can switch it like this or press shift X. You've also got things like the shape tool. You've got rectangles, stars, polygons. I can just quickly left click and drag to really make shapes really easily. If I want to edit a shape, if I want to play around, I can press the down and up keys to increase the size of a shape while I'm clicking and dragging, which is super cool, as you can see like that. You've also got the alignment tools at the top. So whenever I select an object, you can align it. So I can align it all to the center, select it all, and I can align it. You can also zoom in and out by holding Alt and moving your mouse wheel. And I love using the space bar to grab the handle and I can left click and drag all around my artboard or my canvas. So I can move around the whole canvas, as you can see, and I can zoom in all the way into my artboard. If you want to make new artboards, all you got to do is press Shift O for the artboard tool. You can see now this artboard is blue and I can left click drag and holding Alt or Option, I can drag it like that, which is super cool. You can also go into the artboard panel and I can actually click plus and it will just add a whole bunch of artboards. I can click the three dots and I can also just rearrange the artboards as well. This is great for working with a presentation or for maybe I want to do some digital assets. Maybe you want to work on a Facebook banner or an Instagram post. I can select an artboard, I can click and drag and I can customize the size. Maybe I want to do 1080 by 1080 and make a square. I can press M and then I can quickly double click on the fill on the corner on the left side, change the color, add some text in here as well. And then we've created our first square Instagram post just like that. So you have full control over a lot of tools, you got um, shape tools, pen tools, you can do shearing, you can do cutting, you can do even painting. They've got a blob brush like this, where you can just paint across like that. And when it comes to colors, all you got to do is just select, you can select a font and change the color by left clicking on a swatch. A swatch is just the color fill and I can select the background and I can click any color. You can, you know, press plus and you can change the colors here as well to any color you want. Press OK and it will add that swatch to your swatch panel. And so that's the fastest way to add colors inside of Illustrator. You can also use SVGs inside Illustrator, JPEGs, any type of image. So I can just drag images into here and you can see this is an SVG of a logo and I can scale it. It's vectorized so I can fully make it really, really big and it's not going to lose any of its quality because it's a vector program. Vector just means scalability. So I can scale it really big on a billboard or scale it really small. Even though Illustrator does have raster effects, I can play around with different images. So if I bring in, say, a JPEG like this, you can see it's got the mark there and it tells me the settings. It's a linked file. And for example, I can go to my links here and you can see it's RGB, PPI 48, the dimensions, the scale, and the file name, and it's a PNG. So this is a raster effect, and I can go to effects and I can apply Photoshop effects. So maybe I want to add a Gaussian blur or something like that. I can totally do that in Illustrator. So you can see I'm adding that blur, which is cool. And when I press OK, it will add it into the appearance panel. And in the appearance, it's just all the effects applied to the image. So it's non-destructible. I can literally turn on and off these effects. I can even add more effects. So maybe I want like a drop shadow or something. I can do that too. And it will add that effect as well. And then I can just turn them all off. So it's similar to how layers work in Photoshop. So you have that potential in Illustrator as well. You can also save symbols, graphic styles, a whole bunch of stuff. I've got a full Adobe Illustrator masterclass on Skillshare that you can check out. I'll put the link in the description below where I break down some of these tools even further. But this is just a basic overview on using Adobe Illustrator in just 10 minutes. If you want to see how I use Adobe Illustrator to create some logos, you can watch this video right here. Check it out.